Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Detective Grimoire. Uh Last time we finally got into the crime scene, noticed a few things, and figured out kind of the obvious that he was that uh, good old Mr. Remington was stabbed by. If I can go to the actual evidence, there we go. Uh, stabbed by a fireplace forker, and we also pretty much realized the body costume was put with swamp juice to look like Boggy. He probably screamed and got startled because he saw mm -hmm. actual Boggy in his house. Anyway, been here so long, doesn't know he's possibly part of the secret of a few times. What did you think of him? That man was a threat to the swamp. We'll be better off without him. Hopefully the curtain will fall on his nice. little tourist attraction as well. Better off? With a killer on the loose now? There have been murderers loose in the swamp before. What are you talking about? In my time here. I've seen the swamp invaded by men, by hunters, several times. They're relentless. What were they hunting? Wait, what about Boggy? Is that why no one has seen him in 60 years? They always fell short of their ultimate goal. That just meant they came back again and again, doing more harm each time. But this area is protected by law, right? It is now. But now, some men yeah, have no respect that too, poachers of any kind. They tried to get me to leave my home here. Oh, I stood my ground, obviously. But this whole area is a tourist attraction now. I doubt Remington would have allowed anyone to march into Boggy's Bog with a gun and start hunting down his main attraction, unless he was the one hunting down everything. Buy the place out, say you're gonna protect it alongside working with the law. Then hunt it down yourself? Hmm. Let's see. First thing we do, then... Again with green. And now... Give me a different color here, game. Make me feel like an Not. idiot. Now... Oh, uh, what? Hmm. This was... Let's see. First, then... Green again. And now... Will red ever get used? Got it. Now I know what that liquid. I'll write it down. What's going on here? That was definitely the same as the other tests. Let's see. First, then tap. Green or green's gonna be the only one getting used, isn't and it? Now... Got it. Now I know. I'll write it down. The swamp slime. It's all the same. It's the exact same liquid again. There's something about that green slime. <laughs> Sally's legs! My hairstyle. God damn it, skip your. <laughs> the fireplace broker. Found at the crime scene, and the black leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Sally's leggings. They link her with the crime scene. I'll have to ask her about it. No, let's start with this challenge. I've been looking into the history of this place. Oh, really? Did you find anything? Yeah. You. You must be confused. You found me today when you barged into my house. Ooh, ooh, we're gonna piss her off more. Uh, you were already living in the swamp when they. I wouldn't be surprised by that bottom one though. Ago. The explorer, that man they talk about in the museum. You're the, the explorer. The one who originally discovered Bobby. You know who I'm talking about. His sketches and notes are the only real evidence we have for this creature. You already have his journal. You learned to read, I assume. What else do you need? Uh... Maybe a missing page? There's a page missing from the journal. I was gonna assume the I top one. you know where it is. Why on earth would I know something like that? Because you were the only person here when the explorer visited the swamp. I have a suspicion that the swamp creature wasn't the only thing he discovered. You're suggesting he gave me a page from the back of his journal. Or what, that I stole it?
I really have no idea. If I could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. I really have no idea. But there's no evidence it, for either or. or. It doesn't belong in a museum. It belongs here with me. You understand? What if I promise I'll return it after I finish clearing up this mess? Then I'll show it to you. <laughs> Is this you? He drew you into his journal? Oh. It's beautiful. 60 years ago. Yes. You looked good. He left the page with me. We agreed the rest of the world would manage without it. I think there's something on the back. Oh. What's this? Footprints. A uh, lost page of Tally Explorer's journal. Given to Waybridge by the Explorer 60 years ago, it's featured a drawing of a lady Waybridge at 20 years old. Also features drawing of Bahi's footprints. Feet and footprint. He has two toes on the front and one on the back. This page proves the footprints found outside the office were not made by the real Bahi. If you bring me. Okay, I still think she doesn't want to. I recognize some of those men. Unfortunately. They've hunted in the swamp before. Before it became a protected area? Before that, yes. And one of them after that. Hmm. You can put that away. I can't help you. I figured she would talk about how she doesn't like it. No, thank He drew me into his journal. I was 20 years old. That's the end of the story. I bet it's not. Does this explorer have a name? Yes. Are you going to tell me? No. <laughs> Show it to someone doesn't. I'm not. E Alright, fair enough. <laughs> I like this snarky old woman. Oh. oh! Aha! The great detective returns. Did you run out of ideas? Need a little push in the right direction? God, you're creepy. Mm. You're the one who needs a little push. You're the one who needs a little push. <sighs> like it or not, I'm here to help you. I get it. You give me a map, then you magically disappear and hide behind a tree for an hour. You want me to be impressed? Did you talk to all the suspects yet? I I'm working on it. You can't rush these things, you know. I can't find the last you suspect. anything unusual? I notice that this is going to take longer than I originally planned. And I'm getting the feeling that I wasn't wrong about this tourist attraction. What do you mean? I had a hard time believing there could be a place like this here in a dark corner of a swamp. It didn't make sense. And it still doesn't. Some things don't make sense straight away. You need to look a little closer. At what? The mud? The water? The trees? Nope. They've been here for years and they're not to blame. They belong here. She's gone again. Hiding I, in a bush, no doubt. How did I not? I wonder if she'll ever tell me something I can actually understand. Hold on, I just know she looks like Waybridge. Not suspe suspicious. Why? What is the point of this? Hold on. No. Uh, I keep bringing this my evidence. She actually looks like. I don't think this information- is this information correct? Is this actually what the monster is? Perhaps? Cause this looks like the girl. Is the girl the monster? Oh my god, are we doing what, like, the actual- an actual mermaid looks like? So for those who aren't aware, the whole sexualized mermaid thing that I would honestly- I wouldn't say really it's Disney's fault. I feel like Disney's not the main contributor for that, but I would definitely say they're a big one for it. Uh, mermaids are really ugly looking. If you go back to their origin story, they are grotesque, monstrous beings that look awful. And they also eat human flesh. So, yeah. Um, and to be honest, the well, now that I think about it, you could- Say that if I can pull up the journal, this would not be a difficult interpretation of what they would have looked like. Or at least going from what an original mermaid looks like. So, I'm wondering if this is also Boggy. I don't, I'm starting to think this isn't Lady Weybridge. I'm starting to think this is the, this is what the monster looked like. 
which means either A, this is Lady Weybridge and she's Boggy, which could be it, or Lady Weybridge lied about this being Boggy, and this is actually the girl we've been following around all this time, and like she's grown up, or not grown up, but I guess looks different, I don't know. Uh, I'm leaning towards one or the other, because I feel like this is going to be a mermaid story. And I'm also partially saying this because I played Mermaid Swamp, and yeah. But also, mermaids. I, I know history of mermaids, as weird as that sounds. I don't know why, now I'm expecting her to be in different places. Because, what are the odds I would have went back to there? The like, what are the odds I would have went to the, those areas? Right? Like, there you are. Here you again. Ready with some cryptic advice, no doubt? Don't let them take him. Who? The, the murderer? That's my job. I gotta make sure that no, they... No, the creature. Don't take him away. This place is his home. Oh, oh, Boggy. Uh, hey, don't worry. I didn't really believe he could be, uh, responsible for this mess. You, you didn't? Well... No. I don't believe he could ever hurt I anyone. I don't believe he could ever hurt anyone. So, he won't get in trouble? He won't have to leave? Well, he's been out here for, what, 60 years, hasn't he? And stayed out of trouble for that long? I have a feeling some detective isn't going to change all that in one day. Well, in, in that case... He says, thank you. Hmm. Who is that little girl? Hmm. Sorry, I think I'm right. At least I'm What the? Who are you? Ah, you've arrived at a bad time, my friend. Well, I guess you're oh, our last suspect. I don't actually want tourists walking around this place. I always arrive at a bad time. It's what I do. I'm a detective, not a tourist. My apologies. It's just, you have the same wide-eyed expression as the kids that come here. Running around, spending their parents' money, <laughs> you know. Hmm, well, you know, it's not every day I visit a swamp full of such unique specimens. <laughs> it's no problem. You're just thinking what we all thought when we arrived for the first time. Why didn't they put in the bathroom? No, you're thinking, this place is beautiful. What a lucky man I am to be here. I am, mm. am I? Well, if you say so. I mean, it's nature. Edward Everstone, at your service. What is That's that for? Cool Can I call you Ed? You don't need to. Everyone just calls me Echo. Why, because you repeat everything? <laughs> Why? Because it gives you an elevated sense of purpose? What? No. Because I always come back, again and again, until my job is done. You're protesting, right? I certainly am. And now that you're here, I'm getting you involved. What does that mean? Yeah, I haven't got time to hold up signs for you, I'm sorry. You simply have to hear my message and take it with you. Go ahead, I'm all ears. Plus, I have a little notebook. What was the first thing you felt when you saw the sign for Boggy's Bog looming over you? Well, I thought it was... I thought. Felt. I felt... Well, something seemed wrong. There wouldn't be a tourist attraction in the middle of a swamp like this. There shouldn't be. <laughs> My job is done. Clearly your brain is working perfectly, detective. So you're against the tourist attraction? Yeah, uh, let's see. You'd rather this area was kept as a natural habitat, right? Right again. And that precise word, habitat. First and foremost, I'm protesting for animal rights. Okay, okay nothing wrong with that. You, but it's not like they're cutting down trees or anything like that. I right? don't know, man. All animals deserve the right to live in peace, and I promise you, on a normal day, this place is far from peaceful. Are you talking about the swamp creature? About Boggy? A creature like that. He's earned the right to be left alone. We're fools to invite ourselves into his home like this on a daily basis, assuming he's not going to mind. 
assuming he'll keep to himself and let us walk around with his face on our t-shirts. Well, I agree. I think he should be left alone. But like you said, he can probably handle himself. And if no one has even seen him in 60 years, I don't really see the problem. Unlike you, Detective, I never had an academic calling in life. I was never even a talented artist or musician or anything. So instead, I made the decision to stand up for those who were getting a raw deal. You come here every day? Yes, I do. Well, I'm only going to ask you about one of those days. What were you doing yesterday evening? I was here at my protest spot until fairly late. Then I went to get something to eat at Harper's Cafe before I... Wait, you ate at the cafe here? Doesn't supporting the tourist attraction like that kind of go against your protest? A man has to eat, doesn't he? I don't think the meager contributions of one person are going to keep this place afloat. Especially now. And you're sleeping here? Doesn't it get cold at night? Well, I came prepared, of course. I usually find myself with one or two extra layers to wear. Most of this bulk is padding, I promise you. I'm sure it is. So, you stayed here the whole night? That's right. And I admit I may have heard some stranger than usual sounds floating around the swamp last night. What kind of sounds? It's impossible to say. This place fills with the most terrifying sounds at night. Hundreds of animals, some tiny, some much larger, awaken and make their own protests. Every night until the sun rises in the morning. Insects make noises at night. Okay. I'm <laughs> down. Yes. Clearly something that needs to be written down. What can you tell me about these designs for a costume? A boggy costume. It's boggy. I must admit, I've been a fan of his before I ever came to the swamp. A fan? So you're interested in cryptozoology? Oh, no. I meant, well, Boggy has been in all kinds of cartoons and comic oh, strips. My goodness. He's one of the greatest characters of the last 100 years. I've got some comics in my tent. You really should see. But he was only discovered 60 years ago. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, I rounded up. But what about his costume? Have you seen anyone wearing it? I can honestly say I've never seen anyone wearing anything like that. And I'm a very observant person. Mm. So what did Mr. Remington think of you? I mean, protesting in the middle of the swamp every day. It wasn't his swamp. If he ever truly thought it was, and he was even more of a fool than he seemed. But he didn't like you hanging around, right? That man was exceptionally skilled at ignoring me. Ignoring anything he didn't like. So, what, he just left you alone? He expected me to get bored and go home. He figured I'd get sick of this place and he'd have it back to himself. But he didn't want it to himself, did he? He wanted lots of people to come visit all the time, surely. Hmm, I'm sure it says that in the brochure. Yes. No thanks, my friend. I have a feeling we're going to be showing that to uh, my personal main suspect. I'm afraid I have no idea. Oh, that's not true. I have two main suspects, so I can't say that. I pretty much crossed out everyone on the list except for two. Echo's a interesting, and he might be might be up there, but I'm not sure yet. Show it to somebody. Else. I want to get more information out of him. Oh, thanks, my friend. I'm afraid I have. So he has no information on quite literally anything. Hmm. What? You're not a bad detective. Well, I found the photo in Remington's office. It was ripped up, though. I think he was some kind he of... He was a lot of things. Don't uh -oh. lose that picture. And show it to Mr. Harper before you leave. Oh? Uh -oh. Why are you carrying that around with you? I have a suspicion it may have been the murder weapon. Really? I thought Remington was attacked by something with claws, wasn't he? Hmm. Okay, you're starting to get up there. Show it to somebody else. No thanks, my f I'm afraid I- Okay, I'm starting to think we don't have anything. Let's, let's do people the next. victim. Since last night, yeah. But he was the owner of Boggy's Bog. Did you know him? Not personally. To be honest, I'm quite glad about it. 
Boggy is my prime suspect, you know. The creature you're trying to protect. Protect is the wrong word. If your suspicions were correct, we could both agree he's a creature that doesn't need protecting. You think he might be the murderer? I think he's a wild animal, and he wants to be left alone at any cost. Ah, yes, Agent Folder. Oh, you know a him. A good man. You know him? Mm, we get on rather well, and we shared a number of views on the way things were run around here. You're asking the wrong... Oh, I thought he would have uh, talked about Lady Wayridge. I thought maybe he'd have a high opinion of her. You're wasting your... I have nothing to say about... He seems like a good person. He even sympathizes with my cause. He agrees with your protest? But he works here, right? And he was friends with Remington. I think that was the only reason he worked here. Maybe he'll see the light now and leave the swamp behind him. Maybe everyone will. Yeah, you're looking way more suspicious. A man Echo. who has sacrificed luxuries to protect those who need. But I wonder if that's just because I wonder if that's a little too obvious. Too. You're asking the wrong person. Okay, so if you want, so here's here's the thing. I think Echo is a red herring. Not not because of his beard. Uh, I was actually thinking it could be either Bobby Burl or <laughs> Agent. <laughs> Don't ever make that grunt ever again, please. Uh, either Bobby or Folder. I feel like Bobby could very easily have made a which McCallit took a photo. I mean, he's like he's a really good f photographer and cameraman. I wouldn't be surprised if he could somehow just, if he could just set it on a timer and then take the photo. Especially if we're supposed to believe that this killer, who's obviously the person in this costume, not this. One second. I just have a hard time believing this person would make such a big mistake as to get caught by someone. And we can very much tell that this is the costume. So, that's my main reason for suspecting him. Uh, the problem is, this folder is the only one we know in the area who can use lockpicks. Which could have been used to take the liquid from Harper's place. That's admittedly the only thing I got on hand, to be honest, other than maybe his knowledge of Boggy and the costume he could use to scare what's his name or uh mr remington but that's about it all i can think of for him but those are really the main reason i suspect the two of them uh-huh speaking of which i found these designs for a costume a boggy costume uh-huh the legendary swamp creature yeah that's the one but these are just a child's drawings are they not you think hmm perhaps it's difficult to tell he also gives us kind of half-ass answers. You half saw the time. Remington last night, but had you met him before? Did you know him? I've never really spoken with him, but we've come into contact a few times. Vincent likes to handle that kind of work, and I like to let him. What do you think of this place? The tourist attraction, I mean. I can't say I like the idea of a natural area like this becoming commercialized. I know. I just can't understand why anyone would even try. I think Mr. Remington had his reasons. Yeah, he, he wanted to hunt like the creature. A couple of secrets. Like what? I have no idea. If I knew, they wouldn't be secrets. Mm-hmm. That's great. <laughs> I'm sorry I have not... That's the food I saw Mr. Remington eating at the cafe last night. There we go. Before he got ill and rushed back to his office? That's right. This is going down to my notebook. It might be important. What is it? Some evidence from last night's murder? Oh. Oh. I heard from Mr. Vanderpure over there that you were nowhere to be found last night. Oh, we already did this one. I was very confused why we were able to do it again. I guess to remind ourselves. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry I have... What is it? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry... What is it? I figured I'd check. Mm-hmm. All right, fair enough. Ah. What can you tell me about these designs for a boggy costume? Nothing whatsoever. You're sure you didn't see anything like this while you were filming yesterday? Wait, hold on a minute. What if you... Don't you dare ask. This costume isn't your doing, is it? 
made for your movie, I mean? My friend, there will be no costumed idiots within the viewfinder of my camera. I can assure you that. And what about your buggy movie? Isn't that going to be, like, a guy in a costume or, or a puppet or, or one of those weird robot things? Technology has been kind to people like me. CGI. We don't have any need for such tomfoolery. I can create a perfectly believable swamp creature within the confines of a computer. Much cheaper, too. Huh. I wonder if someone could tell me whether or not it is fully cheaper to do I that. I suppose you've met with our Probably. murder victim, Richard Remington. Yes, I've been in and out of this place for a while now. Naturally, I've crossed paths with Remington a number of times. Good value, that one. A real raconteur, you know. You liked him? So far, I'm getting the impression he wasn't the most popular guy around here. Well, that much is clear, isn't it? The man obviously slipped up somewhere, made an enemy or two, and bam, that's that. You just can't be too careful, can you? Yeah, I think he did have an enemy or two. Or three. But you liked him. I respected him. Good head on his shoulders. Good business sense, that man. He understood how to make things work for him. Hmm. I don't really have... You won't be... If you want... I don't really have... Mm. You won't be getting... I figured he would respond to some of want... these. I don't really... You won't be... Wow, you are not responding to anything. If you want... I don't really have... Alright, you know what? Fair enough. I don't think we've done you. I heard this isn't the first time you've tried to film here. Where? In the... in the swamp? What are you talking about? Uh... Right now has denied you filming permission Remington in the past. has denied you the filming permission in the past. Oh, that? Nothing but the natural process of being in a profession like mine. Every situation simply requires the right approach before the gears start turning smoothly. You understand, I'm sure. Why did Remington not want you filming here? And why did he change his mind? It wasn't even up to him. This area is protected, you know. There are certain rules, certain regulations. I encounter this kind of thing all the time, really. That doesn't explain why he changes tune. It's a little suspicious. Why would you say that? A famous movie director suddenly gets his way. I wonder how that happened. Time to use my notebook. Just drag an item onto the paper to draw the idea. Right. That's the one. As I said, it seemed a little obvious. I think you bribed Remington to get the filming rights. Well, bribe is a strong word. It was just a little arrangement between friends. Nothing worth getting Honestly, upset. I kind of agree with that. Uh, it's, it's not really a bribe if you just profit. pay to film somewhere. I feel like that'd be normal. Yeah, yeah, anyway, just a favor for a favor. So you would have owed him money. Only a small percentage, simply out of courtesy. And not for a long time, either. Honestly, I don't think that's as suspicious as the game's making it out to be. I simply... Ah... Mm. <laughs> I'm into Bobby. You want me to sign a photograph? I'm a busy... I simply don't have time to help. You want me... Nah, you're useless. Just making sure. Wait, there's another gun this up there. The so, there's. I'm just making sure. Oh, I probably keep expecting to find a girl wandering around. Did I uh -huh. ask you about everyone else? You should ask someone else. Try showing it to. I really. Nothing to say about the show. You should ask. Just throwing things till I find it. I think when I got the achievement, I got the girl to talk, who I still kind of believe is Boggy. Either that or Lady Waybridge is. There's a so. So, shut up. I found these designs for a Boggy costume. Oh, some ridiculous new merchandise for tourists to waste their money on. No, 
I believe the murderer was dressed like this last night when they attacked Remington. If they were trying to scare him out of the swamp, they should have spent more time making an accurate design. What do you mean? Well, this design is some bizarre hybrid between the real creature and the cartoon character. It mm. simply hasn't been researched properly. What's wrong with it? Well, those flippers? Pure guesswork. Nothing but foolish imagination. Nobody knows what Boggy's feet look like. No footprint has ever been recorded. That's so a lie. Me, Special Agent Folder, how would you do a better job researching it if nothing has ever been recorded? Oh, well, that's, you know, I mean, it's all a matter of taking the time to... It's just that... But there's no way anyone would believe nothing but foolishness. <laughs> yeah, get yourself up, kid. What can Correct. you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? We didn't really have one, and now we definitely don't have one. But look, all I can say is that he was a coward who enjoyed watering down history for his own benefit. What does that mean? It means there are some chapters of this swamp's history that he never wanted anyone to know about. Did he like you sniffing around this museum all the time? I don't think he knew, to be honest. And even if he did, there's nothing he could have done about it. He has no right to this building. He knows that. We both know that. Why not? Yeah. It was part of his tourist attraction, well, wasn't sorry. it? Hmm. No. It wasn't. What? Why do you get silent? Is that the missing page of the journal? I think so. It's an important artifact. It belongs in a museum. Yeah, you're not wearing the right hat to be saying that. <laughs> That's an Indiana Jones reference. Okay. It belongs in a museum. So, you found it. I wonder who else knows about it. Okay, that was ominous. You're wasting your precious... I've never seen that before, and I never want to see it again. I don't know if that's unique or if that's... I have no interest in something... You're wasting your... I think that might have just been something obvious. I've never seen... Yeah, okay. I have no interest. Well, this design. Mm. You're wasting your precious. I think I got all the challenges, yeah? No, I still have to do Sally's, right? I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with the suspicious stuff. So it's five out of seven. Interesting. Uh, let's go talk with Sally. Hey. The black leggings you found in your bag this morning. They're covered in the same slime that was on the murder weapon. Everything in this swamp is covered in slime. Got a point. What's your angle, Grimoire? Your black leggings were part of the murderer's costume. Costume? Is that why someone took them out of my bag last night? Well, you know, I don't have proof someone else took them. If I had been wearing them when I committed a crime, do you think I would hand them over to a detective the second he shows up? Besides, look at them. What do you notice? <laughs> I want to be a dick. You're too fat to wear these. <laughs> Let's think about this one again. Leggings you found in your bag. <laughs> that was everything. What's your? <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> your <laughs> don't have. Do you decide? What do you? <laughs> oh boy. Ah, oh, they're loose and stretched. Loose and stretched. <laughs> that's right. Someone else. Someone larger than me has worn these. They're stretched out, especially at the waist. It's pretty obvious. So, let's see. Somebody oh. stole them to use in a bard costume, and then you get over that. That was good. when they were done? If you say so. It's not my job to know all the details. It's my job to sell souvenirs. Do you want a souvenir? Oh, my, yes. Uh, but only if you choose one for me. Hmm. You look like you could use something to wind up. You can take this one. Ugh. <laughs> uh, certain here's the body. Okay. 
bit odd. Just <laughs> give me that, but alright. I always thought it was. It's just part of the character, I guess. I'm surprised they don't sell some sort of boggy foot soaker. And that would be the one product I'd consider buying. Yeah, I have a pretty good view of him from here. Anyone supporting animal rights is okay in my book. His protest used to have a bit more energy, though. He spends more time inside his tent these days. What's he doing in there? I'm happy to say, I don't know. There might be something I can ask Echo about. Whoa. Echo spends less time holding the protest sign and more time in his tent. I wonder if Echo can tell me what he's been doing that's more important than his protest. I forgot. I'm not used to having actually have Echo on uh, our thing. Where are you keeping all this? I can draw away. Can you show me? Oh. There's no time. Maybe in the sequel. <laughs> Is that one of your clues? I have no idea. Where are you keeping? That's a good question. Where are we keeping the rifle? Is that when Alright, I don't think she has anything else for us. They aren't many clues, but I don't think so. There's a little locked door on the side of the ship. I think it's part of the cafe. A shipwreck? In a and why is there a cafe? A shipwreck? Water. The tables and chairs are made out of parts of a ship. I think. Mm -hmm. Actually, shit, I just thought about this. A shipwreck? Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. I can't help you with it. I can't help you with that. Why don't you show that? Why don't you show that? He's dead, but he always knew what he was getting involved with. He don't know everything, I'm afraid. I can't help you. Yeah. I don't know what to say. It's here a lot. I think he's been putting less effort into his protests recently. Which is a shame. I think it's an admirable cause. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk. Just casual conversation. He asks how business is going and what everyone likes to eat. Nothing of real importance. I still keep expecting to find the girl, but so far it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. You should ask someone else. No, thank you. If you bring, you can put. No, thank you. I'm in a little black. It makes very little sense. A little black, it may the tree, it even has little, okay, even I'll admit, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the tree comes straight, it even has little draw, okay, even I'll admit, that's pretty cool. I'm in door, there's a, oh, oh, there's a book on the table. I think it's a book about flowers. How fascinating. I'm in, <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to like find stuff, because I kind of want to get this stuff figured out, but we're at 95%, so I mean. Oh, sh I thought she was there again. What is clear here? I can see my reflection in it. Not bad. Did I get this? What's this? Okay, I did. The water's I can not. It's like a little forest. This stir and this. It's like a little. The water's I can not. The rock path leading back to. That's the logo for Boggy Spog. So I'm guessing this museum. I hope they don't charge an interest fee. Rocks. So I think the fact that the leggings are 
are stretched out because of Sally, because whoever wore them was a bit, little bigger than Sally. I admittedly think that kind of takes off uh, Folder. I mean, he's not exactly Sally's. I, I don't. I can't think of a wording to say other than curves. Ugh. But uh, yeah, he's not. He's not that big, which is making me wonder. It's either going to be Bobby, or I feel like they're they're actually are really making it obvious that it could be Echo, and I'm starting to wonder if that's on purpose. Maybe it is supposed to be Bobby. Oh? What my, I can't remember what my reasoning was that it could be Harper, or it couldn't be Harper. Hmm. Problem is, though, you could definitely make the argument that uh, if he did poison uh, our victim, he would, or he, if, if since he would have poisoned the victim, he would technically have control over where he could go. Or if he would be in a weakened state so he could take him. So I guess that's all, that's a pretty... And he would have the same build. It's, temp it's possible. Oh. No thanks, my friend. Just want to make sure... Shoot. No. I'm afraid... This is the journal, correct? The one that man left here 60 years ago? You seem a little unsure of the details. Shouldn't you have read up on all this stuff? Forgive me. It's hard for me to get the image of Boggy as the lovable cartoon character out of my mind. He's just so iconic. Did you know, in 1973, he... But you're protesting to protect the real swamp creature. The cartoon mm. character is just See, that's where I feel like they're making it, product, trying to right? push that he's him. Yes, yes, of course. Because as uh, Folder described it, the drawing that was made was something of a mix between the real thing and the cartoon. And if he has more of an idea of what the cartoon looks like, he might have been like, oh, well, I need to make it look like the real thing. But since he couldn't get the image of the cartoon out of his mind, that could be where the design came from. I heard you've been spending less time protesting recently and more time, uh, in your tent. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask. I'm touched people have even noticed something like that. I usually get the impression everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So, you admit it's true? You can put your notebook away. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down, at least. Well, if it's not worth writing down, maybe it's worth hearing. In that case, you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would echo in my mind. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, if you take a guess and get it right, I promise not to deny it. Let's work out why Echo was hidden away in his tent. Notebook time. <laughs> Notebook time. I have a silly nickname. Tax evasion. Ghost. Rain? Nah, that's be boggy, right? You've been in your tent hiding from boggy. <laughs> Why not? Really? I... Really? We're not gonna... Seriously? Show it to some... We're not gonna... I think it's time I went to talk to Officer James. Chapter 4, the beginning of the end. I think I'm gonna call it here though, everybody. Next time, maybe it's the last part? Question mark? Not really... Really not sure where to go from here. I really did think Folder was going to be it, but I'm starting to feel like either Echo, who literally didn't even answer our question <clears throat> when we, during the challenge, or... Not Van, Vander, Peter. Or it's either going to be Bobby or Echo is my, is my vote. I thought it was going to be Folder, but I'm starting to think it's not. But, uh, yeah. Till then, everybody. Till then. See you next time.